everybody, it's Jamie Doherty, and today I'm going to show you how you can include feathers in your ice resin creations. I hope you enjoy. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix, blend my ice resin and the plunger is nice because it's equal parts. I just need just enough to coat my feather and then pour in my bezel. So I'm going to stir, fold that over like you're mixing a batter. Okay. You want to create a lot of bubbles. Alright, so just fold that over until it's blended. We have a nice mixture here. Now you're going to take your feather and we're going to need to trim this one. So I'm going to measure in about where I want it to cut. I want to put a light layer of this on the back and a light layer on the top. This way we're not creating air bubbles once we put the feather in. Okay, so we're going to set that in and then we're going to go ahead and pour over the top. Fold in the little fuzzies of the feather. Make sure we're reaching the limit of the bezel. Now this is a larger bezel, so what I'm going to need to do is come back in once this is cured and add just a little more on top to give it that nice domed finish. Sometimes if you try a little too soon, while it's um, this large, you can come across it running over the side. So I just like to come back and add that second layer once I'm finished. And then the cool part about the ice resin is it gives the feathers a, a transparent look. And I'll hold this up to show you in a little more detail. You can see how it's encased in that ice resin and the really neat thing is the background almost looks like gravel or dirt, looks like earth and that feather is just laying there nice and peacefully in our resin. Alright, I hope you like this little tutorial and I can't wait to see what you create with your ice resin. Bye.